Спасибо. Yes. Yes. That's what I've got. I've got nothing else. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, World Cup Gossip episode 3 and we have the lovely Dion Dublin with us. Dion has finally made it here to Moscow know, for a yes. little bit because <laughs> you've been travelling around non-stop. It's not what I expected. Mm -hmm. I expected it to be a little bit more hostile. There's loads of talk about racial um, hatred from, you know what, it's been the complete opposite. Mm -hmm. They have been warm, they've been welcoming. I've been out on my own, I've been chatting to people because <laughs> I can speak fluent Russian, obviously. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> How do you say thank you? Uh, Spasiba. Yes! yes. <laughs> That's what I've got. The I've got nothing else. <laughs> the World Cup has been predictable, but I'm sure no one would have predicted Germany going out. No, not at all. The nations that you expect to sort of set the World Cup alight haven't quite done it yet. Brazil really haven't got into their stride. Spain haven't. France certainly haven't, because mm. I've watched every, every one of their games. And Germany, oh <laughs> wow, they are out the World Cup. How can you say that at the end of the group stage? That's, yeah. that's it's crazy. I don't know how that's happened. But on the performance, mm -hmm. they were shocking. See, um, this is the show. It's led by everyone at home. So let's get straight to this. Scotty, actually, Scotty on BBC Sport, the YouTube, said, what about the Argentina comeback? They just scraped a win against Nigeria. Really poor side without Messi, aren't they? Uh, yeah, I suppose they are. But they, they, they clawed it back. Who'd have thought they'd get through through a, uh, a Rojo right-footed volley. <laughs> it's one of those things where Argentina really haven't done anything at the moment. They haven't played to their full potential. I understand about the one-man show type thing with Messi. Mm -hmm. but Were you shocked about Aguero, actually? Yes, yes, really shocked. Uh, you know. There I go. <laughs> Look at that go. It's, it's lively here in Moscow, what can we say? Well, just let that really loud <laughs> car go by, ruining really my answer. <laughs> It's, um, it's giving you more time to think exactly. about it. Exactly. You know, Aguero, top quality. If, if there's any side in the Premier League that said, right, we fancy a centre forward, mm -hmm. Aguero would be in their top three picks, but yet he can't get in. OK, another one. Kamrach Keeley on BBC Sport Facebook says, teams that emerge from difficult groups are better off in the last 16 than teams that have had easy groups because they won't have been tested. The teams in this World Cup haven't been good enough yet just to do what they need to do. Mm -hmm. Um, and Germany had got their comeuppance as well, thinking yeah. we'd be okay. They're out. I don't think anybody set the world alight and said, right, if I can get the points on the board, I'll be fine. Um, and when we get to the next group stages, um, we'll, we'll turn it on. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I, I don't think anybody's got to that stage yet. England, however, need to just keep winning. <laughs> just keep winning. It's just don't simple think, as that. Just don't keep think, winning, England. Exactly. Don't think about second place. Don't think about what's going to happen in the in the knockout stages. Just keep winning. If your team's winning, pick a winning team. Don't change it. Simple as that. Oh, so you wouldn't change the team? I, I personally wouldn't change it. No. Okay. Absolutely not. 100%. No way. Everybody's happy. Bob's your uncle. Dion's your pundit. She's your presenter. <laughs> Bob's your uncle. We absolutely love that. Should we just end on that fight, Dion? Let's do it. And that's all for World Cup Gossip, Episode 3. Catch you next time. <laughs>